Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I really don't know where to start. First thing first, I just wanted to say that you'll be watching this video when I give birth. The thing is you you spend the time thinking you have nine months to go and then the nine months just pass by so quickly and then you realize you don't have much to look at afterwards and I really really miss my bump after my first born so I I thought to myself this time I'm not missing out on anything I'm gonna put this out there but it's only going to be after the baby if you don't know I have miscarried my second pregnancy at four months and I it was difficult for me I had so many feelings emotions that I went through and the most important one is the fact that I was upset I was so upset and then one day I was speaking a lot and my aunt stopped me and she said come on Rochelle people never get to meet your baby they never had any kind of um, attachment to your baby so it's normal that they forget about your miscarriage as soon as it happens because that's what actually happened. I had support from people that care. They, they really showed me how much they wanted to be there for me. Um, but I was really surprised by some of them at the same time. I just realized that she's right. So because of that, I, I thought to myself, well, people are mostly in love with the fact that you're pregnant or they just wish you a congratulations because they feel like they have to wish you congratulations. Um, they, they have to congratulate you, sorry. So people have been congratulating me and then when the baby died, I didn't see any of them. And then it, it felt as if I was contagious. I don't know, it felt so bad. I don't mind to share with you my baby when she's here. As I said, you get to see her you get to have the chance to love her yes it's a girl <laughs> but we are not sure if it's a girl but we're guessing it's a girl i came to a point where i am a believer of pregnancy to be very personal and obviously i share this pregnancy with people that i love and people that i know love me and obviously i can't hide the pregnancy i have a big stomach and i have a dietary reptile as well so my stomach just by two months, everybody knew I was pregnant, so I couldn't hide my pregnancy that much. This being said, we're going to jump into the video. We're February the 5th today, and I am 20 weeks and, and uh, 3 days. We've been to my 20 weeks scan already. I'm thankful for that. She's good. Everything is good. I was so excited about knowing the sex so I can I can just start packing up stuff and start DIYing stuff if that's a word. We went there, baby was just like this and closed her legs and she was facing my spine so we only get to see her back. But the lady said that she's guessing it's a girl and this is the second guess we got. The first one was on my third month and the lady was very, you know, nice and she asked my husband if you want to know a guess he said yes so she said she's guessing it's gonna be a girl she she told us it's 60 percent sure that it's a girl but so we all having this feeling is going to be a girl my mom thinks she is going to be a girl my husband thinks it's going to be a girl he already bought a christmas key for her which is a pink top and a hat and when i opened it i was so shocked I was so shocked, I was like, he bought this, we don't know yet. And he's like, I know it's going to be a girl. So, finger crossed, I'm going to be a girl's mama. I don't know why I had this belief that I'm going to have only boys. Um, if I have another boy though, I will be happy. I just want this baby to come and be healthy in my arms. I just want to hold this baby and to kiss this baby so much just that's that's the most important thing for me my pregnancy started very weirdly should I say no but I was really nervous you know upset and crying a lot and then one day my husband just like you pregnant go and take a test 
And I'm like, oh God. I had one pregnancy test in the house then, so I decided to go get a test done. I wasn't expecting it to be positive, but it was positive. I was happy. I told my husband he was shocked because <laughs> uh, we didn't think much of it, even though we were ready again to have another one, to try it again. Then, um, obviously, the anxiety of from miscarrying before came in but then there was this happiness I don't know how to explain it I was just so happy and um, I thought that if I got pregnant again I'm gonna be so anxious but I just I was so happy and I feel so privileged to be pregnant I feel like I'm part of something special like I feel powerful I'm carrying a life and I just don't know how to explain this for me being pregnant is such a beautiful feeling I mean it, it doesn't feel that good but I just love being pregnant because it's amazing sometimes I look at my son and I am like he came out of me I can't believe this boy came out of me I've been feeling nauseous and no vomiting nauseous usually when I'm hungry or when I've ate something that I just Mm -mm. and I've only vomited once which is great because I hate vomiting craving no really but I'm eating a lot of rubbish I will not call them all rubbish but I snack a lot um I wake up and I eat 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 <laughs> Only this fifth month I started eating like that. But then before that, because myself, I'm somebody who, who wake up and just drink a cup of tea and then have lunch and then that would be it. Sometimes I can drink tea all day and then eat sweet all day. But I've been doing this at the beginning but now I can't do that. When I wake up I want to eat because if I don't eat I feel so bad and I'm so hungry and I just want to eat. That's can I mention. Um, nose, block nose. Um, I bought this thing behind me, the diffuser. I don't know if it's doing much but I've been using it like every night. I, my nose is not as blocked as it used to so basically it's working. Let me just be honest here and give some credit to this humidifier behind me. <laughs> I have only one book which I check and if I have, I need more information I'll go online because I'm trying not to go too much online because I personally end up going into stuff that not good for me to read. Here it is. This book my husband got it for me when I was pregnant with our boy. It has almost everything you can think about when you're pregnant. Your pregnancy week by week, Leslie Regan. But um, like I said, because it touches almost every subject, you wouldn't have like too much of one subject. But then you have the main thing you need to know, if it makes sense. And the only thing though that worried me a lot during this pregnancy is uh, not feeling the kicks. This baby though, she's so cheeky. I know she's moving, I can feel the... But not as strong as my boy. Or maybe I just forgot how it felt at the beginning. But I was waiting to feel a pronounced cake and to be like oh this one is a cake from her anyways I just wanted to make sure it's her kicking and not my anything inside of me and so that's one reason why I'm filming this video only at five months I was so anxious about it because I never felt my last baby kicking and so I just wanted to have that as a confirmation like you know please you're fine you're fine just just kick kick all the time just kick I hope I will not regret saying this, but kick, keep kicking. By 18 weeks, I could say that her kicks were really pronounced and I can see through my stomach that she kicked. It's not only feeling that I felt. So I got myself a Doppler. I actually ordered it and it came after my 18 weeks. I'm happy having it. I just love it like music to my ears. I just want to hear her. If you want, we can hear her together. in my 
side but we will see what will happen and if it's a boy we haven't thought about any boy's name like at all <laughs> it's going to be amazing you know what if it's a boy <laughs> pregnancy for me is not the easiest like uh, I constantly feel the heaviness and uh, I always feel like I need to sit down I'm feeling tired and there is something about me when I'm pregnant and I'm feeling tired I feel like I'm wasting and sleeping my life away this time I haven't slept that much because I have a boy who is keeping me busy and I'm grateful for that I feel bad about that if it makes any sense but at the same time I need it my baby needs it but Apart from that, I take a lot of medication. I, I have about five medications that I take every single day. I even have injection and penicillin part of it. Um, I can see this time my cheeks are popping, which I'm not mad at. I love them. I love having some cheeks. Isn't it cute? Okay. Mommy! Mommy! Yes? Mommy, spider! I really don't know how to show spider. you this from. Is it spider? Here is baby already on my lap. My lovely baby. Alright. This is a lot of gymnastics to show you this baby <laughs> bump. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe here. Take care of my little one. Bye! Bye, he's saying bye every day. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you in my next video and thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy watching it. <laughs> <laughs>